Well, welcome back to GeoTox. Now, last week we introduced the idea that uh, rocks could be classified into four rock types, plutonic, uh, igneous or volcanic, metamorphic, and sedimentary. Now, modern geologists base their current division of the three rock types according to how they think the rocks were formed. This, I believe, is a little misleading because geologists have never observed any of the rocks forming except the volcanic rocks. Now, dividing the rocks on the basis of what they look like and their content seems to be a more satisfactory system if we are to believe in the young earth view recorded in the book of Genesis. So today I want to begin talking more specifically about each type of rock. Let's begin with the plutonic rocks. Now the word plutonic comes from the mythical god of the underworld, Pluto. Another name for these rocks is coarse grained. In other words, the minerals that make up these rocks can easily be identified with the naked eye. The grains or minerals are coarse. Now this is not a description of their texture, but the size of the minerals. Uh, the most common plutonic rock is granite. The word granite comes from Latin meaning grain, and that is exactly what you see in granite. Now, as I hold up some samples of granite, uh, I want you to uh, look at it and uh, study it a little bit, and you can easily see the grains of minerals in the granites. Uh, granite can be all kinds of colors, by the way, based on the mineral content of each type of granite. So next week, we'll talk about the true igneous rocks, the volcanic rocks. So let me hold uh, some granite up and let you look at it. This is a piece of very light colored granite. Uh, it has a lot of white feldspar in it. You can see some of the darker minerals. A horn blend is a dark mineral. We'll get into the rock forming minerals later, but uh, mica and uh, some quartz, the gray splotches are quartz. Uh, so that is a very light colored granite. Another type of granite uh, is a little darker. This has a little darker feldspar in it, but again, the black minerals you can see and uh, quartz. You study that just a bit. Now I'm going to show you a couple of uh, rocks that are water tumbled. Oftentimes, in order to see the coarseness of the grains, you have to break a rock open. So here's a piece of granite that has been water tumbled. You know, this has a lot more of the darker minerals in it, but you can see a lot of the white, uh, light colored feldspar and uh, quartz. And finally, here's a very light colored piece of granite, a lot of white, whitish feldspar and uh, some black minerals and quartz in it. So thanks for joining us today. Uh, so long until next time.